Ever wondered how to meal prep for the entire week? Welcome to the ultimate guide to mastering this life-changing habit. Meal prepping is the practice of planning, preparing, and packaging your meals and snacks in advance, typically for the upcoming week, with the aim of making healthy eating more convenient and manageable. Imagine having a week's worth of nutritious, delicious meals at your fingertips, ready to eat whenever you are. No more scrambling to put together a last-minute meal or resorting to unhealthy takeout because you didn't have time to cook. Meal prepping can be your secret weapon against these common pitfalls. It's not just about convenience, though. Meal prepping can also help you save money by reducing waste and avoiding impulse buys. Plus, it's a fantastic way to ensure you're eating a balanced, nutrient-rich diet. So if you're ready to revolutionize your eating habits and take control of your nutrition, you're in the right place. Stay tuned to find out how to become a meal prepping pro. Before diving into the process, let's grasp the basic concepts of meal prepping. At the heart of meal prepping is planning. This is the stage where you think about your dietary needs and preferences. Whether you're vegetarian, on a low-carb diet, or just aiming for balanced nutrition, meal prepping allows you to customize your menu to suit your needs. Consider this, you're not just planning for one meal, but for several days or even a week. This means you'll need to think about variety to keep your meals exciting and flavorful. It's not just about having chicken and broccoli every day, but about exploring different combinations of proteins, carbohydrates, and vegetables to create meals that you'll look forward to. Now, let's talk about batch cooking. This is the cooking method that's going to be your best friend in meal prepping. Batch cooking is preparing multiple servings of a meal at one time. It's about cooking once and eating multiple times. And no, this doesn't mean you'll be eating the same meal every day. Think of it as cooking components of meals. You might roast a tray of vegetables, grill some chicken, and cook a pot of quinoa. These can be mixed and matched to create different meals throughout the week. For instance, the grilled chicken could be part of a salad for lunch, then paired with the quinoa and vegetables for dinner. The benefits of meal prepping are many. It can save you time, as you're cooking multiple meals at once. It can also save you money, as you're buying and cooking in bulk. Plus, Having a variety of meals ready to go means you're less likely to resort to unhealthy convenience foods when you're rushed or tired. Meal prepping also gives you control over what you're eating. You know exactly what's going into your meals, which can help you stick to your dietary goals and make healthier choices. Now that you understand the basics, it's time to move on to the steps of meal prepping. The first step to successful meal prepping starts with a plan. Imagine it as setting out on a journey. You wouldn't start without knowing your destination, would you? The same applies to meal prepping. Your destination is a week's worth of nutritious, easy to prepare, and tasty meals. Start by choosing a variety of recipes that you enjoy. Diversity in your meals keeps your palate interested, making it less likely for you to deviate from your plan. While choosing, consider the nutritional value of each meal. Aim for a balance of proteins, carbs, and fats, and don't forget your fruits and veggies. Remember, your meals should be as simple as they are delicious. You don't want to spend hours in the kitchen every day. Choose recipes that are easy to prepare and require minimal ingredients. With your plan in hand, you're all set to conquer the week. Once you've planned your meals, the next step is to make a shopping list. A well-structured shopping list is your key to efficient meal prepping. Now let's delve into how to create this list. Start by jotting down all the ingredients you need for your planned meals. Separate your list into sections like fruits, vegetables, proteins and grains to make your shopping trip smoother. Purchasing in bulk is a smart move. It saves money and reduces packaging waste. It's especially useful for non-perishable items and foods you consume regularly. Think grains, nuts, or frozen fruits for those delicious smoothies. Here's an essential tip. Stick to your list. Supermarkets are designed to tempt you into impulse purchases. Don't let those end-of-aisle displays or checkout line goodies sway you from your plan. Remember, each item on your list is a piece of your meal prepping puzzle. Straying from your list could disrupt your entire plan. With a comprehensive shopping list in hand, you're ready to shop. The next step is shopping and organizing your ingredients. One of the key elements of successful meal prepping is effective shopping. This doesn't only mean buying what's on your list, but also ensuring that you're choosing fresh and high quality ingredients. Remember, the quality of your meals directly depends on the quality of the ingredients you use. When it comes to fruits and vegetables, look for vibrant colors and firm textures. This usually indicates that they're fresh. For meat, fish, and poultry, pay attention to the color, smell, and texture. They shouldn't have a strong odor, and the color should be consistent. If you're unsure, 
don't hesitate to ask the butcher or fishmonger for advice. Now, on to organizing your ingredients. This step is just as crucial as the shopping itself. An organized kitchen can make the meal prep process smoother and less stressful. Start by sorting your ingredients into categories. You could group them based on the type of food, vegetables, proteins, carbs, and so on. Or you could sort them by the meals they'll be used in. This can be particularly helpful if you're preparing multiple different meals at once. Once you've sorted your ingredients, find a place for each category in your kitchen. Try to store similar items together and keep frequently used items within easy reach. This will save you time and energy when you start cooking. Also, consider investing in some quality storage containers. They can help keep your ingredients fresh and make it easier to find what you need. Plus, they're perfect for storing your prepared meals. And don't forget about your fridge and freezer. They're your best friends when it comes to meal prepping. Organize them so that the most perishable items are at the front and less perishable ones at the back. This helps to ensure that nothing gets overlooked or wasted. Now that you have all your ingredients, it's time to start cooking. The final and most crucial step is cooking and storing your meals. Let's dive right into it. Now batch cooking is a game changer when it comes to meal prepping. It's like killing two birds with one stone, but in this case, it's cooking multiple meals at once to save time. How do you do it? Easy. Simply pick recipes that have similar cooking methods or temperatures. For instance, if you're roasting vegetables for one meal, why not roast your chicken for another meal at the same time? This way, you're making the most out of your oven's energy and your precious time. Next up, let's talk about storing your meals. This is where things can get tricky, but don't worry, we've got you covered. The first rule of storing meals is to make sure they cool down before you seal them up. Putting hot food directly into your refrigerator can raise the temperature of your fridge, potentially leading to spoilage. So, let your meals cool down at room temperature, but not for more than two hours, because you don't want bacteria to start setting up camp. Once your meals are properly cooled, it's time for storage. Now, you want to use airtight containers. Why? Because they help maintain freshness and prevent cross-contamination. It's like giving your meals their own little personal space. And let's face it, who doesn't love a bit of personal space? If you're storing meals for more than three days, consider freezing them. This will help maintain the quality and nutritional value of your food. Just make sure to label your containers with the date so you know exactly when to consume them. And remember, when reheating your meals, ensure they reach a temperature of at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. This ensures any lingering bacteria are killed off, making your meal safe to eat. And there you have it. Your meals for the week are ready to go. You've planned, shopped, cooked, and stored. Now all that's left is for you to enjoy these delicious and nutritious meals you've so skillfully prepared. Bon appetit! Meal prepping doesn't have to be a daunting task. We've journeyed through the process together, from understanding the basics of meal prepping to cooking and storing your meals. We started with planning, where we highlighted the importance of mapping out your meals for the week. This not only saves you time but also helps to maintain a balanced diet. Then we moved on to making a shopping list, a crucial step that ensures you buy only what you need, reducing waste and saving you money. We then delved into shopping and organizing, emphasizing the value of buying fresh produce and maintaining an organized kitchen. Finally, we tackled cooking and storing your meals. This step is all about efficiency and ensuring your meals stay fresh and tasty. Each of these steps is a pillar in the structure of successful meal prepping. Remember, the key to successful meal prepping is planning, shopping wisely, and efficient cooking. Happy prepping!